I'm Lisa Taylor with eXp Realty and I am here with Patricia and Kelly from Style Cells and we are sitting in a home that they staged for me that sold and I couldn't be happier with, uh, with how everything turned out. So we're just going to talk a little bit about staging and I'm going to just ask them some questions about what services they offer. So we see it on TV, we see it on HGTV. Uh, what are some of the services that you offer as a stager? Um, well, just like you see on TV with no commercials and less drama, we <laughs> hope. Um, we stage completely vacant homes. We have our own furniture in inventory that we can put into the houses. Um, and we stage completely with the homeowner's items and as well we can combine that in what we refer to as an augmenting staging where we first use everything that they have and then we add in whatever it takes to get the complete look and for us our focus is always on what is going to photograph best and what is going to highlight all the features of the house. Okay, so in this house, it was a vacant uh, house. We did a big renovation and there was nothing in it. So everything from the teacup and, and, or the coffee pot to anything that's, that's out. A vacant house, is, it's a lot of furniture you brought in here. So what is the cost of a vacant house stage or a stage with, with the homeowner's own things? Perfect. Well, that's a little bit of a longer answer. <laughs> yes, it's <a> which complicated. <laughs> I'm going to start with the fact that I'm a very thrifty person myself, so I don't want to spend time, energy, or money that doesn't need to be spent. Uh, and so over the 15 years that we've run our business, we have um, developed what we call staging kits. So absolutely everything that we need to do a three-bedroom house is all married together, choreographed together, every little piece is there. So um, we have got that to a system now where everything we need fits onto one 17 foot truck. It all comes in together, it all goes out together, and it always stays together. So because of the efficiency of that system, we are able to keep our costs uh, considerably lower than most people would expect. And at any rate, it is always going to be lower than one more month of mortgage or one more month of carrying the house. And whether that means snow removal on top of that or lawn mowing on top of that, your costs are always going to be less than that. And um, what we have been told by the realtors we stage for now in 2021, that the difference between a staged and completely vacant house is at least twenty thousand, possibly thirty thousand dollars in the offer that you're receiving. So I can say with assurance that our cost is a fraction of that. Yes, I'm I'm a believer. <laughs> I really am, especially after this one. So right now, as you know, it's a seller's market. Houses are selling like that, multiple offers. Why would somebody entertain the idea of staging in this market? Well, quite simply because when you create a better product, it sells faster and for more money. And whether that is a house or a sandwich, it, it's all the same. People are always going to buy the best looking sandwich and expect to pay more for it. So what it comes down to is you're going to have more offers. And the more offers that you have, the higher your selling price will be. So if this was a house that where somebody was living in it, um, why couldn't a, a buyer, a potential buyer, just look past their, their things? Well, I could say a couple of hundred words or I can just tell you it's the same reason my husband can't open the fridge and see dinner, right? I mean, when you can't, see what's there, you're left to imagine. And how your imagination works is going to change from person to person. So even if it's a couple that are looking at a vacant space, 
one person might be thinking, oh, wow, I could have this here, I could have this there, this could work, this could be my man cave, while well, someone else is thinking, what a great craft room this is going to be. <laughs> and so the whole, thing, the whole thing evolves into what they're going to use the room for, as an example. Right. So we like to show, you know, what is the best thing for a room or a space to be used for. So as an example here, this beautiful built-in fireplace was here. It seemed obvious that a television should go on top. This is in fact a <laughs> staging television, weighs about three ounces, and it gives the buyer the idea that this is what goes in the space. But more important, it reflects the lifestyle that they're going to have when they come down, look at the fire, and have their favorite programs on. So it's just mostly what we are doing is we are enabling the imagination to come to its maximum potential in the shortest amount of time. Okay, so that brings me to my next question. This house looked great. It was totally refinished, redone. It looked great, maybe, maybe not great, good before staging. Clean, uh, everything was new. So I obviously chose to stage. Why, why would somebody cho choose to do that if their place already looks good? Well, I think there's a few reasons and I'll touch on just a couple of them. The first thing is that every space looks smaller when it's vacant. With one exception, and that is areas that are too big. So we recently did a house that just had a huge living room and so that how much that living room felt like a dance hall was we believe to be a detriment to um, a house sale because most people want more space until you give it to them and then they'll immediately say oh this is too big for us. Right. So by actually staging and again using the spaces for what they're intended and showing people how things fit in a space and most important, even if we don't stage the entire great big space or little space, we put something that indicates what its optimum use should be. Suggested. Suggested, <laughs> exactly. The next part of it is that yes, it might look good, vacant, but good does not sell as good as well as great. Right. Great sells better than good and that's what it ultimately comes down to and again whether it's a house or a sandwich great is still always going to sell better and faster. Right. And I guess the most important if you're a seller people are going to expect to pay more money for it. Right. I, I agree <laughs> completely. So what is the difference then between a staged and a non-staged home? So the difference is quite simple. Uh, a staged home sells faster and for more money. Um, and a staged home feels move and ready. Uh, and it also creates like a sense of urgency for the buyers. Um, and a non-staged home uh, kind of feels like when the buyers are going through, it feels like they're snooping through these people's things. Um, and they're focused more on the, the clutter and items that you know these people have. Um, so they're distracted, they're not remembering the, the best attributes of the home. Right, they're looking at the things that they would do the differently. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, yeah. 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 Um, sorry, my in the back here. So where do you get all of your furnishings for uh, when you do, as an example, a vacant home or you add things to a seller's own possessions, where you get your things from. Uh, so one of our favorite places, as everyone likes to shop, is HomeSense. Um, we love buying stuff from there. Um, we also collect stuff uh, from other people's houses, like if we're really interested in a certain piece, then we'll offer to buy it. Um, we love thrifting stuff and DIYs. Um, stuff tube, <laughs> yeah. all around, wherever we can find a really good piece. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, why couldn't a seller do staging themselves? Um, staging is a, it's a skill. It's also, I would think, predominantly a talent. It's just, uh, even for Kelly and I, like, we don't know 
why we can do what we do. We just can. And to the extent that we can even surprise ourselves, we can be whipping around a house, putting things together. It's like it's coming together on its own. And then we'll have this moment where we stand back and go, whoa, Kelly, look at, look how this look, turned look out. Look how right? awesome I mean, we're, I wouldn't go as far as to say we're channeling, but I do believe that I can do what I can do for the same reason that Celine Dion sings, uh, whereas I cannot sing. Um, Wayne Gretzky plays hockey, right? It's what we do. And um, the other thing is that we are not emotionally attached to anything in anyone's house. Big one. <laughs> we, we see everything in color, shape, and size. That's it. And we, we start the process by coming in, gathering in things, anything that isn't absolutely rocking in the space that it's in. Um, is what we consider to be up for grabs. And so the first part of the staging is the gathering part, and the second part is the, the items going out. And when things get reorganized in people's houses, most people get very excited about that. And they'll look at things and go, wow, see, I, I never would have put that together because I got that in Germany and I got that in Mexico and why would it, why would they be together? Whereas for us it's color, shape and size. So we do find that people will then take pictures of how we put things together because they want to do that in their next house. Right. And invariably they want to take us to their next house because, you know, by the time we're done, they've lost all confidence in their <laughs> own ability <laughs> to hang a piece of art. We don't quit till that yeah. happens. No, of course I'm teasing, sort of. But um, we, uh, we are very happy to go with them to their next house and put things together and help them now replace pieces that maybe were fit in their previous house but are now too big in that house and we'll help them source new things and put things together and then as Kelly mentioned that's sometimes where our inventory comes from mm -hmm. because now maybe they need a bigger sofa and so we buy their other sofa right. and so that's uh, okay that's that was that, that was another question um, towards the end that I was going to ask is about um, what do you only do staging for sellers, but it seems no that you will you'll come in and Absolutely. help people set up their houses. And Absolutely. We are, you know, passionate about making spaces that feel right, that I like to use the term rise up to meet you when you come home. I, I feel like when you come home your house should feel right. And if you think about it, Lisa, when you're showing a house People who very seldom use the word look, they use the word feel, mm -hmm. and they'll say like, oh, this feels so big, or this feels so bright. You're, it's always about right. how it feels. So is uh, staging just for people with high-end homes like we see on HGTV? I would say staging is for everybody who wants to sell their house faster and for more money, because again, it, it always comes back to the better product that you can present. Um, it's going to sell faster and for more money. And even in a slow market, if the market is really slow, of the 20 houses that you're competing with in your area, your house will be the one that gets the more showings because the photos look better, are, is more likely to get an offer because as Kelly pointed out, People are coming in and your house looks ready to sell. There's a sense of urgency where people feel if they don't put an offer right now, it's going to be gone. Um, so big or small, you know, we, we stage them all and we always have great results. You know, we, we don't stop until we do. Right. Okay, so two more questions. One of them is, um, I know one of the things that sellers stress about is Getting your house ready to sell is a lot of work. So is adding a stager and staging into the whole mix, is that, is that a lot of work? What do they have to do? Yeah, I think the, the question I'm really hearing is, are we adding to the work or are we taking mm -hmm. away? And I can tell you with certainty that, that we are in house after house where we take a ton of work off people because when we're touring the house with them, 
Uh, we recently did one where the lady had this great plan to move all the from the storage room, all the storage units that were on one side over to the other side of the room. And um, what we would have prefer was that just less items be there. And so giving her the solution that didn't involve taking everything from one side to the other side and rehousing it all was fantastic for right. her. Almost every time, whatever their list of to-dos is, we actually take things off. And then if we add something in, again, because we're thrifty, we, we don't want to spend time, effort, and money, we will always find the easiest way for them to get to, to the goal. And um, so we have a lot of people who will say, oh, the house is a mess. We don't want you to come in yet. We've got things to put away. We want to see it first because we don't want them to do too much and we don't want them to get rid of the things that we then need and so on. So, right. Yeah. Okay. There was one more question that I needed to, oh, I know. Um, what other than staging, I think there's some other services that you offer. So what other yes, things do you do? do? Um, we do uh, design at all levels for whether people are, as mentioned, moving or not moving. Um, we do renovation consulting and again we always know the fastest way to get from what you have to what you where you need to be putting the money into the right place and not doing more work than is necessary and in almost all cases on design and on renovation we we've already seen that problem we already know the solution to that so we're able to really save a lot of time and money because we're doing design with so many clients and we're in the big box stores, we're in the tile stores, we're in the kitchen uh, design uh, shops all the time, we, at any given time, we know where they're going to get their best price on tile or where they're going to find the pieces that they need to finish that renovation. That would have been very useful information <laughs> yes, before exactly. I did this. Not that I made any exactly. mistakes at all, but <laughs> and just our, saying. Our, our, our favorite time, like I say this jokingly, but again, quite seriously, our favorite time to be in on a reno is before mistakes have been made mm -hmm. or before too much money has been spent. Mm -hmm. And we do find that some, you know, often we are now coming to stage a house that's been renovated and we're we're thinking, why would they have put the money into that when this is not done right. and this is a big, bigger priority? But I did hear you say, you didn't say that about money. No, I did not <laughs> say. I, I, did, I did feel that you put money in the right place. But seriously, we just went to uh, stage a house where they had in their mind that they wanted to bring it up to an executive level. And so they had upgraded the kitchen cabinets and we had quartz, uh, beautiful quartz countertops, um, but meanwhile, the windows had not been changed. The doors, the front door and the, the uh, metal door on the outside, the glass was broken out. The door had a little note that said, push hard. Like, right. <laughs> but, right. you know, so just finding that balance of where to spend the money and, and because we believe that whether we're designing for someone to live or helping them sell, ultimately every house is for sale. The only question is when. Mm -hmm. And so helping homeowners make the choices that keep them always ready to move to whatever they might move. Even people who say they're never leaving, eventually, <laughs> eventually they, they, leave. they do. <laughs> and, and on that, hand in hand with that, is helping people pick the materials and pick the finishes that are going to have longevity. Not, you know, for example, when the trend for espresso uh, wood and caramel colored granite um, came out in around 2009, having the design knowledge and background that we did, we knew that that trend was going to wane. Um, I'm old enough to remember when it waned the first time, so <laughs> I had no doubt in my mind that that was going to be a, a short slice of the market. Yeah. And so helping people keep, um, keep their budgets on time, uh, on budget and on time, and 
getting the mass market appeal and the longevity is something that uh, is very important to us. Great. Well, I thank you, first of all, for staging the house absolutely beautifully and also for sitting and answering all these questions and hopefully um, people will get the message that staging is absolutely worth it. So, thank you. Um, I'm, I, I always forget, but don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Until next time.